In this example, I will show what can be done with an explode view and the motion study. I'm just going to right click and animate my explode view. We see that it is very quick and everything's taking its own step. Right click and collapse this. And now go to my motion study tab. And I'm going to select my animation wizard and I can import my explode view. This says it's going to last 14 seconds, so I'm going to slow it down a bit. Put 18 seconds, and instead of starting right at the beginning, I'm going to give myself a one second buffer. Bring this window up a little bit, and I can see that it has given me a second buffer and placed all the steps for these components. If I play from the beginning, now it does take a little longer, but we see that each component is taking its own step to move. And when moving in two directions, we see that I have two different linear movements that is limited by the explode view. Well, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drag my time bar back here to the beginning. And if I move this out, we see that the, there's two components here. The orange indicates tracking by an explode view. And as a start, the middle and end position. I can actually delete the center key of those. So as I drag, the component now moves from point A to point C. And with that uh, key gone, I can drag these in so that it uh, moves a little bit faster. Move on to my second set that moves again. I'm going to delete the middle ones. I can actually window select and delete if it's convenient. Drag these close. And we see that now I have both linear movements with those components. But I can also drag these to where they all go at the same time the saving time in my animation and again with my last group of uh, components there I can delete the middle ones I can swim to select all the keys drag them in here set them all to the same time so now as I go through my animation here all those components move at one time saving quite a bit of time there All right, my next movement, there's components moved. Let me scroll up here so I can see them. These components were moved in two steps. First, I want to move those closer to my other animation. I'll give them a second here. I want those to move all at once. And I can even have one just take a little bit longer. play with it a little bit there. All right, and again with the uh, drag these down. Accidentally deleted that, just hit the undo to bring it back. And then we see the two tracks coming out on the side are separate. can drag those to the same time so they both move out at the same position. Now we also notice that it has placed the key at the very end which when I play my animation it will take the entire thing to play. I'm gonna, if I can grab my window here and pull this up, I'll window select every key, drag it down to where instead of being 20 seconds from my animation, and for some reason it doesn't want to drag for me here, there we go. I'll bring that down to 10 seconds. And that way I've turned a 20 second explode into 10 seconds by playing with the steps. I'll drag this down so we can see my model. Play from the beginning. 
Now we see that I can drastically change the movement of my explode view. Now to collapse the explode, again I can go to my animation wizard and hit collapse. The bad thing about this is it'll place all the keys in the exact reverse order of what the collapse was. But I have taken the time to make this the way that I want to see it collapse. It's a little trick here. I'm going to move the time bar out here. I'm going to select, and I'm going to have to do this one at a time, but I select this group of keys. I hit Control C on my keyboard to copy. Move my time bar to where I want it. Probably about right here. Control V. It has copied those keys. Control C, Control V. One at a time. Here I can go Control C, Control V. The important thing is to move the time bar first. Kind of hard to keep these straight. But as soon as I get the hang of it, I just control C, control V. And I always can hit control Z. If I make a mistake, I didn't want those there. Control Z for undo. It'll do that also. Alright, and then I want a pause at the end. Instead of the video ending right when they get done moving, I want another second pause. I will drag the complete time out just one second here. And now, let me play from the beginning. And there I've modified my explode view.